Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of ages, hello everyone at YouTube, it's Flash here. This is Red Dead Redemption 2, part 9. Bell something. Is it Bell? What's it called? It Rhodes. Okay, not even Bell at all. But there is a Bell there, right in front of us. Yep. Dutch has asked the gang not to use weapons or cause trouble. So we're going to try and be good here. But we are, again... Gonna crack on with missions this stream. We're gonna crack on with missions. So the first um place we can go to. So we got two. What's this? Mr. Pearson. Who is he again? Oh, he is the uh, um I forget what he is now. He's like the butcher. And over here we've got the Greys. Sniff around the Kaliga Hall to watch you can find out about the greys. So, you know what? We'll get on with that first. And I'm growing his beard out and I'm growing his hair out. He's going to have long hair and a long beard. I'm going to see how long I can get it. Because surely at a certain point, they just go, no, you've got to get rid of it, Dutch. It's out of control. It's out of control, Dutch. Cowboy Jesus. <laughs> Gotta be careful we don't kill anyone. I have got a gun and I'm not afraid to use it. You think all this Lamorne air is free for you? Yeah. Is that a potential fight? See, I don't want to get into that fight. I've been asked not to. Okay. He keeps telling me once again, do not cause trouble. This feud's getting worse, not better. We need to settle this soon, once and for all. Right, so do I need to sneak? I mean, am I supposed to get all the way over there? Um, I feel like that. I feel like that would be a mistake. Part of me thinks I should just walk in with the horse. Don't be a pussy. Just go over. Let's go, boy. Let's just go in and say hello. Yeah, I was just thinking. I'm not going to sneak. I'm just going to walk in. Going to walk in. Defiant. You know, but I mean, I could sneak in because I'm that good. I could sneak in here, no problem. Oh, horse needs a bit of a clean. It'll take more than that, boy. Maybe give him a bit of uh, a treat as well. Yeah, there, boy. And the horse lives off virtually bugger all. The occasional carrot and a, and a bit of a stroke. Looks lovely though. Look at the crows. What are they after? Is there a dead body in there? Oh! Look at that! And then they're, then they're back out again. And someone programmed that. Someone sat down and programmed that. Okay, here we go. Play, play it cool, Treff. Play it cool. What do you want, boy? This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Caliga Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word, but I ain't got the time to help you. 
Obliged. Lies, that's just shat all over your floor. Deserved. I, I would have shat on in front of you if I could. You coming in or what? I am. I'm in. Don't you worry. Just you, just wait here. You just here, wait here. You just be ready for me. How you doing? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Down by the wood store. Okay, thank you. I meant to ask, is this your first? Yes, I've never played this before. I, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll rephrase that. I played the snowy bit, you know, where you fight the wolves. When I first got the game for my PlayStation 4 and I uh, I didn't have the time or the energy to put into it. And that, so that was it. That was as far as I got. So all of this is new. I don't know anything about this. So this is, a, this is blind. This is a blind playthrough. Blind, blind, blind. Oh, can't get in. All right. Pulls Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just passing through. Don't mean to intrude on your politics. Damn jackass. What? The hell? what? Ah. Ah. This is not how I was expecting this to go. Oh, it's because of the gun. It's because I banged the door. I played for it on stream, really enjoyed it. I'm 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 enjoying this. Oh why is why is that there? Oh, you go over there somewhere. Um didn't expect that to happen. Why is it not letting me just restart it? So don't go and bang on the door. Fuck now, that cost me twenty dollars. Where am I? Right, let's try that again, shall we? Okay. Where are we? Okay, so I've still got to go there. Fucking hell. I, I'm, not, I'm not too keen on the restart system. I must admit. You know, it'll just stick you out of the way. So we'll try that again. Don't try any doors, just go and meet people. It would appear to be. That's where I went to last time. I don't want to do that again, though. Or do I... Or do I... Hold on. Am I still in the same spot? Let me just check something. So... Okay, so I do want to... Oh, hold on. Is that... Where's that? Dutch. Why has he all of a sudden come up on the map? Tobacco. The old chewing tobacco. Yeah, is it this guy here? Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. Why is he st yes. why, why are you moving like that? You don't get a lot of traveling men here. And suddenly, there's a whole 
Stads, good evening. Yankees. Welcome. Strangely helpful Yankees about place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Porn. Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray. It's Romeo and Juliet, this. Gray. Nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. I used to She's talk like about Karen tomorrow. like that, but not anymore. Tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Okie dokie. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Sneak into the grounds around Braithwaite Manor. And good luck. Come on now, boy. Let's get going. I hope these thought don't try and kill me. This kindness, sir, I shall not forget it. He's not got any energy at all. Um, yeah. Are there some weird Easter eggs in this game? Like if you go to some specific time. Oh, what, and see something. Loch Ness Monster, something like that. I, I've, I've tried to, like, purposefully not get spoilt by anything. I mean, I keep hearing that you, the story's really good and stuff like that, but anything about the story? Like, I must admit, I just, I'm just assuming that Dutch and Arthur are going to fight at some point. I think that's that's just going to be a given. But other than that, I don't know. Uh, I don't know anything else other than that. Of course, he might not fight. You know, could just be a misunderstanding. Okay, hold on. What's the, what's the mission asking me to do? Do not attack the guards. Shh. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Okay, let's not go anywhere near the bulls. That horse is going to get impaled. Fog, Sandy. The fog is definitely needed. I came in on the right side by the looks of things though. You know, the house is here.
shit. Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist. I don't suppose you mind my walking through these grounds. I got a guidebook talks about the big plantation house. Your guidebook's about to get you shot, Yankee. Get out of here. That's real hospitable. Good day. You best be going now. You can't be here. Plantation workers only. Let me walk you out. Okay. Which way do you want to walk me? Penelope's at the gazebo. Get her in. Let's go. Ah! 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 Fuck. Fuck. Don't know what's going on there now. I've got to be fucking quiet. But oh, we can read. Retry the checkpoint. Okay. Thank you there for not making a big loud noise or anything like that whilst there was in the middle of it. That was a that was appreciated, Foxy. Let's go the other way. This is like trying to sneak out of one of P. Diddy's parties. Always someone there with a photo. Okay, she's in the gazebo we said before. Property. Get out! Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist! I'm trying to see if I can just kind of Sneak around. You gotta go. Okay. Make me, make me, make me, make me. One of you find Miss Penelope. Get her in. I'm gonna leave you cold. We did. Okay, the guards were alerted. Okay, I should I should blow something up. I should do true lies, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Blow something up on the other side and he'll run to it. Okay, so... Okay, let me just see. How far can I go around? That's what I have to do. I have to run around it. Go, go wide. Go long. Not so much sneaking as we are completely running. energy build back up is this not thinking I've uh, took my tonic again here we go oh, does that not build up my health oh right do I need food fuck is it food I needed oh cheese Hello, Arthur. Welcome. New to the game. I, uh, well, relatively speaking, you know, I'm do it. No, no, I'm, uh, I'm completely blind on this. Apart from knowing that one of the characters is in Red Dead One, other than that, this is a this is a first time playthrough. So I, uh, it's it's not a, it's not a rerun or anything. 
First playthrough. Oh. Alright, so I'm gonna have to go. He can't swim, can he? Or can he? Actually, I've not tried that. Can he swim? How are you doing anyway, Arthur? Obviously, obviously it must be a fan. Must be a fan. Uh, we have, you've got your specific name. Um, I think we're on chapter three. We've just moved to Rhodes. We've just moved to Rhodes now, so. Oh, okay. She's, she's oh, there's, all right, there's the gazebo. Is that my fucking horse? Oh, no, it's not. Now, what am I... Now, what am I supposed to do? Just go and see her? Hey. Don't scream. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. You know, if it was just me now, I'd shoot her in the head. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh... He is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark. Back in the day, they were so romantic. Well, I don't know you do all this, and you hadn't even had a sniff at this point. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Or Liverpool. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? Listen, trust no. me when I say well, this, getting know, high on a... My uncle has a factory there. He was sort of... I, um... Sheep on account of having left. But now evil playthrough. Evil, kind of evil playthrough. Kind of. Families are... are There's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. I'm, I'm kind of good, kind of bad. Uh, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say. Depends so how I'm feeling in my heart. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? She's, a, she's giving him nudes. This is what they did back in the day. The, the, you know, there wasn't like, you know, send dick pics. It was, it was, the, the Sally send nudes. Leave the area without being seen. Why is the area completely red? Or am I in danger? I'm in danger. Okay, well, I can't go that way then, so I'm going to have to go this way. Where are we? Oh, by the, oh. Right, so I'm going to have to go, realistically, this way. Oh yeah, here we go, we can get to this road. So we'll, we'll aim just here. Oh, and it won't show me which way is which. The f um, okay, well that's where I'm going. I'm going that way. There's plenty of them. South for the winter. All right, I know. Hope you've seen that. I can walk around like this. Hunchback. We've talked about this before. He's at the perfect height now to uh, not get shot by someone with a machine gun. Because if you know, imagine if you're a machine gun now and you go into a house like that, he'd be, they'd be shooting. Oh, oh I can't do it. There's no mouse. But above there, where the windowsill is, that's where the bullets would go. I'm at the perfect height not to be shot at with a machine gun. How do you, how do you know these things flash? I, I just do. I know these things. You, ha you have to know these things when you're a professional streamer. But you're not a professional streamer. Oh, sh oh shut up. Okay, let's let's keep to the uh, let's keep to the, keep to the coast. You know, just in case there's mermaids. Is there a boat there? I'm out. I'm out. Oh, I'm out. Sound. Right, okay. Now. Now we get the horse. There we go. There we go, everyone. Mission complete. No problem. Oh, uh oh. Uh, what? I hope that's not a lynching.
I'm on their property. What's going on there? What? Do anything. Jump! Oh shit, I've run the wrong way. Jump the other way! Oh god, there we go. Sorry! Everything's fine. Okay, hang on. Oh. Where was that going before map? Um, so now I'm gonna go back up to oh shit, I'm in Brave Oh, I'm in Braveweight Manor. Is this oh no, Braveweight. Is this a bad okay that Wait a minute. What? Oh, okay. He gave me the thing. I went over to the brave weights. I'm in with the right. Okay, sorry. There we go. Hang on. What's this? It's the person who's that Molly O'Shea. Molly needs to speak to me. Does Dutch need to speak to me? Sheriff Gray asked you and Dutch to go back and see him sometime. American distillation. We're gonna rob someone for moonshine. Let's, let's do that one. Let's do that one first. They're just screaming at each other. In the old west. You lot, you wouldn't last. You lot. W sorry, sorry. You lot wouldn't last a day in the old west. You won't last a day. Got no, ch got no charger for my phone. Got no time for Snapchat. No TikTok. You won't last a day. I would, I would thrive, but you lot wouldn't last a day. Oh, I want, I don't, I don't want milk. I don't want milk. I want, I want skimmed. I want skimmed milk. I haven't got my VR porn. <laughs> Can you imagine that, Steads, for you? Can you imagine that, Steads? The withdrawal symptoms you would have. No pawn for you. Yep. Can I be dangerous for you? Squeal like a pig. You know what? The traveling used to bother me at first. You know how long it took to get somewhere? Doesn't really bother me so much now anymore. It feels like you're doing something, traveling somewhere. Here we are. 20 to 10, perfect time for the pub. Prostitutes everywhere in those days and, and diseases. And diseases. I mean, think about it. Hang on, no, no, shit, sorry. Uh, sorry, horsey. Um, um, sorry about that. Bin bag and a rubber band. Ugh. Okay. Oh, someone else dead. At the gunsmith. Okay, what's going on? Oh, he's running. Like, can I get him? No, he's just run off. See, that's how you dealt with arguments back then. Someone said, all right, uh, you know, any beef on the old Twitter? You go, right, I'll meet you down at the saloon. Bang! Nip that in the bud. Right, here we go. In here. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to... Look Mr. at that mustache. Oh. 
I'm so sorry, Sheriff. You don't do mustaches like that anymore now. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No exactly. Man. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Is he pissed? Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. He's fucked. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest yes. thieves like us. We're bound to True justice. in a place like this. Now oh, I'm killing people, but with a badge. You are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with it. Exactly, now it's legal. Liquor never dulled a good Oh, it's a great sense. film, Tombstone, isn't it? Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. The Kevin Costa well, one, Wyatt Earp, is, is good but as well, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't hold the candle. Archibald. Here we go. How are you? Fine. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, <laughs> Yes, uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations. There will be an advert running in one minute. Don't worry, you will not miss a thing. County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should... I'll show you, um... Now, I'm have you sure seen, I uh... I know we were looking at Billy Bob Thornton the other day with, uh, with, um, Angelina Jolie. He's in Tombstone. And he looks a lot different in Tombstone. You look at him in Tombstone and go, and you've got Angelina Jolie. You're exactly young and chubby. Are you going to draw that thing or what? Let's see now. Misty, misty, misty. Can I do the old... Uh, oh, it's cinematic. Here we go. Yes. Get a slap to hell and not in the way Angelina did it to him. Do you reckon she was a slapper? I mean, I mean... Actually, but either way, to be fair. You reckon she gave him a bit of a slap in? Give him a few digs. I mean, the fact that they're divorced, I I can imagine that he got sick of her. And look at that perfect segue. See, this is this is why. This is this is why the game's taking so long. That's 20 minutes. That's so that's 20 minutes. The advert, the game, the tour, a little bit of chat. 20 minutes. We'll never, we're never finishing this game. We're never finishing it. Part nine. We'll be on part 90. Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. You see that wagon? Does it feel good to be back at it? I do. What's happened here? Dear Wolves? I swear they got it in for me. Dracula? Try washing once in a while. Keep your eyes open. Uh, 
Hang on, did I just find a vegetable? Keep that. Oh, this must have happened recently. What happens to this guy? Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Well, I can't search him. Deputy, get over here, please. All right. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Could have, could have been me. My money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. How impressive. You got a keen eye. Let's see if we've got any. He's got a keen eye if he's right. If he's not right, he hasn't. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Let's leave him for the wolves. Anything else? Interesting that we've. No, no. Go on ahead. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lamont State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's Fuck the law. The officials they've murdered this year alone. Well, it sounds like you fellas got your work cut out for you around here. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. Bear right again here. He had a few stories that would tell So everyone in this town is either Grays or Braithwaites. Drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. Oh, here we go. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Oh. Round them up and take this operation down for good. So we're fighting them. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 708. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Um, I want, um, always go left. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerates. Always go left, this flashes rule. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Be the bridge one first. I think I saw another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up. What are you doing? I mean, what am I can't doing? Tie him up with you in the way. All right, Jesus. So antsy.
Oh, that's them. You can kill a person like that, by the way. Easily. Good work, gentlemen. Now, are we going to rub the moonshine? Would be a shame otherwise. That's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. You take Any these, though. We'll blow it up. Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. You're real funny, don't you? Tell me about that you. is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Great queens. Yeah, I'm sure. Well. Uh, oh, okay. Years ago, they was the finest family around. For this, what a shame. Um, am I? Might. No, no, no. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Oh, I think you're real funny, don't you? <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it. I swear. I I just it wasn't very clear on the screen what you're supposed to do. It said plant it, so I did, and then it just blew up. Down. Let go. Right trigger to place it. So what am I doing now? Now am I killing people? Fine, Bill. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, so now I can take him out. Okay, cool. Um, oh, I've not got my actual... Oh, for fuck's sake. Where did these sons of... Come from? Shit. Oh, this gun's terrible now. Do I need to clean this gun? I haven't cleaned this gun in a bit. I think that's the problem. Oh, that's why it says maintain it. Right stick. Um, give it a quick clean while we're in the middle of a gun fight. Why not? It's all right. It's all right. That's better. Fine. Let's get back to it. Yeah, we're sound. Oh, that's Bill. That was Bill. It's fine, as many of them can come as they want. Shazam! Oh. 
You're not even getting off the horse. Multiple headshots. I don't see any more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Can we can I not can I not loot him? He's looting them bad now that I'm the law. Well, you know. Oh, hang on. What's that? Inspect document. Okay. Raiders letters. A note on the recruitment of young southern men to the cause. Okay, let, let's not be going on about recruitment with gems around. Jesus, Karen! It's like a lecture. Can you imagine just being snuffed out like that? Miho! Uh, yeah, well, you know what? At least it works. Miho almost forgot. In fact, Miho, you've been here way more than three times. Do you never get your stamped? Oh, gold pocket watch. Fancy. See, I do need these. Uh, I do need these bullets. I'm not trying to be. Uh, I'm not trying to be rude, but I need the bullets. Wait till you get the exploding bullets. Uh, yes, I saw um, I saw a thing for that. You know, when I was going through the stuff, like, you can get them. I was like, oh, when do they come up? It's not blowing people apart. I did a lot of killing here. A lot of killing. But you couldn't feel guilty in those days. You know, they'd, they, yeah, they'd have done it to you if they could have. They'd have done it to you. Eighty-seven cents. Imagine that. Right, that's that's everything there done. And my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get that. Yeah, Why you don't best. I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war. We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin. Webster. On account of the war. Used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on. 
You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. Don't see that. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you are on. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! Okay, I should shoot that horse. It's a fuck. You never were much of a rock. I'm fucking beating you, dickhead. Don't you go dying on me. How far behind is he? Go, go, go! Get some. You've run into a tree! You've run into a tree! I'm gonna fucking shoot him. I'm gonna shoot Dutch. Don't go. Oh, Flash. You were well in the lead before then. Be careful here. Yes. Yes. Look at that perfect timing. All this to get one horse race on Dutch. Yes. Yes. Victory is mine. Quite so good. They're running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is when you get to be my age. Well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun. They look the same age. You're. I was gonna say you're like a son to me, but you're more than that. A lover? No? Is that inappropriate? You know, I think I've heard enough of your opinions, miss. Is that so? Yeah. Now make yourself useful. And the first part of useful is not driving me insane. Alright, let's uh at the very least, let's get uh get him washed up. Complain, complain, complain. Did you become a sheriff? Keep away from you for a minute and get myself cleaned up. Oh, here's my change clothing, weapon locker. At the very least, let's get some sleep. Um, so the morning. Beautiful. 
fresh dewdrop morning. Use the photograph again. Use use the use that supposed to be. Beatrice Morgan, Spring Rocks, eighteen seventy. That's not his uh, missus, is it? Not having a shave. We're growing it out. We're growing it out. We're not doing any side missions. We're just doing main missions on stream. So next one's gonna be here. Actually, do I do I owe money? Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slash you. I've got a good old-fashioned northern family. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Don't give her a slap. What's her name? My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <gasps> Enough, both of you. <sighs> well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be e it. Equality. Do more than just hunting. Oh, we see the woman rescued from the fire. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? Sadie Adler. All right, okay. Where are we so going now? Graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. Yeah. You cool down then, yet? Yes. Uh, no oh, we're only going a certain I'm speed, sure so I'm assuming this is this is where we get to know each other. Yes, we all gotta do our share, princess. Uh, where's the letter? Are uh, you reading his mail now? Uh, okay, hang on. Robin and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. There. Just, mm. just stick to the road. Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I okay, move. Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Boring. Cinematic camera isn't working on this, but... Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> I can't read in people's mail. It's disgusting. Oh, woman, he ain't paid for. Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. That's Dutch's idea. All mail sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that bag. We got work to do. Here we go. Yes, are we stopping? Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, are you insane? God damn it, woman! I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. 
We rob fools to rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy us some food to eat. No guns. For sure. This time, it'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Go to the post office. Now, I don't think I've got a bounty anywhere. I think I'm pretty safe in this town anyway. Old my oh, pay bounty. I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Um, let me just check. I've got a bounty. Oh yeah, I have got a bounty. You know what? We're gonna pay it. It needs to be paid sooner or later. Sometimes it's a good idea not to have debts hanging over you. Let's get him paid. Hello there. Hello there, yourself. Now, could potentially do a bit of shopping here. I think. Is there some shopping to do? Is everything shut? Okay. Um, and get a newspaper. Let's see. Not driving. Through here. Go this way. I'll get back on the wagon. Just want to get my paper first. Here you go. In need of a good story? Gonna, uh, St. Dennis Sam's gonna get all three. Cool. Okay, what's going on there? Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Oh, look, she's got herself some new fancy clothes. Oh, look at you. All fancy. Okay. Is he all of a sudden now he's gonna look at her and start getting feelings? Not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. But he's dead uh, now. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... It's a damn shame. You know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. What did that say? I had some requests. What did it say that she wanted? Don't kill the camp. Mm, how do I? I can't. Hey there. Hey. What uh? What you folks? I'll tell you what. You two are gonna be dead in a minute. You're in Lamorne Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. Uh oh. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? She's just gonna shoot first. Pull over right now. Pull over. That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Ah! Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Go! You feel that? Ah! What the hell was that? Two shots, two shots, Bowski, that's what that was. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch! Well, you wanted to see some action, lady, now you got your win! That's how you wanna do it? Okay there, Sadie. Of course. I think I can't get oh. I told you I could shoot a gun. 
Man. This is what I get these two here. Anyone running away from me? What are you doing? We should get out of here. Yeah, but you know what? First of all, oh, pick up. Oh no, he's not oh, got any more. All right, sorry, I thought you had something on him. No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful. We showed those tongue. Remind me not to get on your bad side. Can we pick up the pace here? And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Yep. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah. Come on. I've run into them before. Oh, he's very slow on it. Don't seem to have grown out of playing soldiers. Anyway, won't you go upset and pierce about that letter? How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, uh, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post. Anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind balls. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. Well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes. We oh, yeah. Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention. Oh, look, she's cleaned herself up and everything. Again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> <sighs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Further questions of female suffrage. Okay, we done that. Uh, right, more more game missions. Uh, so let's go see Molly. Uh, to, to be sure. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. He's dying. I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. A great gift of information. So you got some tip up, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. 
Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. He said that to him twice now. Man indeed. Come on then, you miserable. Come on then. How do you get wind of this old lamp? They only been down here all the five minutes. Wow, you boys been off. Now, I was going to say, where's my hat? There's my hat. Sinner playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellas were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing th the crossroads. Oh, you hold on. When oh, you can do that. Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. I almost shot him then. Don't try anything stupid. And we won't do anything unkind. Shoot two of them through the head at once. I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Do not start this with us on the back of it. You're gonna give me a hand here? Cocaine! Good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Hey! Think I see something! Oh, uh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Dun, 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 dun. Yeehaw! Do I need to kill him? We're going straight into the middle of a fight. All right, now we're shooting. Last when you have to, can't you? Just shut up, Williamson. Yeah. I haven't killed anyone yet. Off the trail, into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leaving Cornwall's men at camp. All right. 
Get off the horse. Get out of here, go on. I'll see you later. Alright. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watching now. Sure. Well, we uh get some rest. Ugh. You done fucked up. Try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Is it that? Is that where they're hey, staying? Yeah, let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead, go ahead, tell me what you heard. I don't. Gonna get shot. Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the bar oh, a you... while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. Okay, we're gonna do something. We need to do it now. I can't, well, I can't, literally can't move. Go on, be, get distracted by something. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Well, now I can move. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Oh, no. Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas. Where'd that come from? Out of the way, Uncle. We're on the right here. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got enough to secure it. We got more of them on this side. Shoot him! Shots! Oh, they set a fire off.
wants to do that? Who wants to do that? No! Time to get out! I knew he was gonna die. Come on, Arthur. Let's head to the woods. Alive. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. I mean, was it worth it? Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods. This is now we find this, this is the setting for uh Prey 2 Predator 17, whatever number it is. Let's split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. What? Why am I with you? God, I'm gonna be with you when you die, aren't I? I'm gonna be with him when he dies. Oh, he's been hit. Shoot the horse. We all still alive? Yeah. Just about. Yeah, I'll do what you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quonk. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Absolute fuck up. Nine nine hundred dollars though. Oh what? So it gets split four ways, and then the rest of them have half of it. It's taking a piss. Absolutely taking a piss. Help! Please. Oh shit! Who? Okay, do I need to get out of here? Right. Yep. 
There we go. Now, am I wanted in this area? First of all, have I got a mask on? Let's get rid of the mask. Am I wanted in this area now? Okay, so we haven't got a bounty. That's good. Um, so what have we got here? Got Lenny. Preaching forgiveness as he went. Lenny needs to speak to you. Looks like someone wants to kill him. Uh, and then we've got more of these lot. The Bow Greys. Penelope Bravefoot requested that you deliver her letter to Bow Uh But it would get rid of that story. Where am I? But yeah, actually, where am I? Oh, I'm there. Uh, I'm closer to here. I'm closer to here. We'll do this one. Beautiful. There's all sorts of stuff going on in the night around here. You cannot use weapons or cause trouble in roads when you are acting as a deputy for Sheriff Grey. But if I'm a deputy, then surely that means now that nothing can happen to me either. Shit, shit, shit. This way. Great family business. Coming through. You're good. So I'm safe now because I'm a sheriff. She hiding in here. She milking. Oh, it's Bo. Sorry, I'm thinking of the guy of the brave fight. You got my money. Sure. Did she give anything for me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You're... You're a swell guy. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. Bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word. Real people. Unlike incest. God save the queen or king. My cousin Matilda, I want to marry Penelope. But they're going to... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. you got to help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on, we better get going. Good God, Karen can write essays. All right, here we go. All right, and follow me to Rhodes. Come on, come on. Yeah, we'll go around the property and take the road to town. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, 
I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Just happens to be right here. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the call. Right, so I'm going to have to protect these lot. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Now I'm everyone's friend. Myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies, we know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Take it. Down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Becker Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. So this the man coming out. What are you lot doing? Get back in the kitchen. I'm disgusted with this myself. Our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Sorry, fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. That's uh, a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies, get down. Come on, come on. Go home. Shut your mouth. What the hell is going on? Well, man, oh my God, shit, ain't causing all this trouble. You're not even Gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. equals. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair. Hundreds of years Ooh. later, and this so kind of thing still carrying on. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. <laughs> Philosophy hey. dependent on What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, Come on. Sir, Shh. can you not see? How I think there might be a couple of bit of fist fighting involved. Oh, let's go. Quick now. We are all now I know Dutch doesn't want any trouble, but there's going to be trouble, isn't there? Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old Oh, field. I thought they were following us. Land we have 
someone gonna get shot. You don't wanna go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kinda getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. What's going on here now? This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive. My brothers are vindictive. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh... They keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. They better not be dollar bills. They better be tens at least. At least. Or fifties. Thirty dollars! Come on. Hey, boy. I'm shooting myself for that. Alright, here we go. More missions. Uh. Oh look, we're we're up to date on the missions. Uh, oh, we no, we got two going on over here. Lenny, and who's that? Abigail. Now, Abigail advertising the new American art. Okay, put these posters around town. Awesome. Uh, and who's Lenny again? Oh, Lenny's the priest. So we got the priest, but that involves guns. Let's do the gun one. Let's do the one that involves shooting. Yeah. He's the, he, really, he must be reeking by now. We haven't had a shower or anything in ages. Hold on there. A minute of your time. Let's get us a closer look at this one here. Round here, strangers got to cough up payment. All right, okay. From there. You hear me? Yeah. I'm done being kind. Last warning. Okay. Boy, no fish. I'll put your mama in the same damn Get out of here. Where's my horse? What have you got over there for? Get on! Time to go, boy. Get him. See if I'm just going to give my money away.
it was, it's funny how it was animal cruelty he wanted me for, so I'm allowed to shoot them whenever I want. Let's go cross country for a bit. Or maybe not. Oh, oh, I thought it was a settlement. What? Who was that? Was that the Lady of the Lake? Yeah. Lady of the Lake. That is why I'm your king. Just saying I need to cough up money. Ooh, what's going on there? What have you been up to, Arthur? All right, love, not, you not. You want to talk? No, not right oh. now. Yes, kid. Oh, Lenny, Hello. Lenny, now I remember. Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> Let's go see. Look at the state of Arthur's jacket and his clothes. All right, then. Let's go rob some food. First things first. On me. Let's just check out. That's good, boy. crazies before you've been drinking again no well yes but no that's not how i might have met them i think some of them harangued me and sadie when we were coming back with supplies mrs adler yeah and mrs adler did just fine more than fine actually she's terrifying but i got a notion these fellers is one and the same yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. Sorry! But most of it is a... Historical context that is important. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. 
right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Oh, look at them Bambis and Watership Downs and all of it. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. Is that it, huh? Like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons. We're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. Of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. There, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. He could turn off at any time. Should we move up on him? See which way he is. He's down there, isn't he? I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, sharpshooter. Um, okay. Anything? No. Yes. Yes. Well, they're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. You got men covering the house? I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? 
Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performing. Okay, here we go. So, what do we do? You're going in, kid. Give them both barrels a charm. Wouldn't try anything less. Uh, today is a fine and fabulous day. As all days, and so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. Are they shooting him? I come in peace to discuss the merit. What the hell's going on over there? And interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise Okay, he looks like he's going to. Where's that guy's voice coming from? Oh, hang on. I don't know what it is about that guy. I keep missing him. There we go. That everyone? Quick! Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. These fellas dealing off. There might be guns in these wagons. This stuff's too old to bother with. I tell you that gambling gun though. Could be promised. What do you got? I don't get this. Fuck, nothing. I think we should search the crates often. Of. 
Can't get anything there. Okay, fuck all. Fuck all. Oh, here we go. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. That wasn't too bad. Lauded. some business with your brothers back there you don't look like any kind of folk we deal with you look just the opposite shit oh absolutely shocking Absolutely shocking there, Flash. I'm looking, all right. I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... Good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. More about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But enough, but enough. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we you know what you do for this gang. You notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. God damn it, Arthur, you're so lovely. America. And here we are, we're back. Papa, Lenny, coming back. Is that Mika? These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Bolt action. Rifle is now in shot to modify. Right, okay. Um, so I've got one more mission here. Abigail. I think we'll do this last one. Last mission for the night, I think. He goes, Dutch. I mean, he's walking with purpose. What do you think of the place? I think it's a shithole. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. Arthur. Is that what we are? Is it avenging your father's death after Arthur. 
30 years, there's gold, Arthur. Gold. If you say so. How you doing, Abigail? What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Right, then we're off to see Hosea. Sing Hosea, I can see again. Which one do you think you are? Compared to you, you? busy, Arthur? Yep, I am actually. Greatest man that ever lived. Whatever creature you worship, Mr. Beck. <laughs> so, map wise. What's he wanting? Bill. Who's Bill? Bill needs to speak to you. But they're at the moonshine. So we're going to go to the moonshine. Maybe we're going to get hammered. Gentlemen, Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Oh, it's dangerous. I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <clears throat> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Won't he recognize me? I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like the Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past them. I know. I've seen it. Chip, chip, chip. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a I was trying to... I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of you, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Ooh, lady. She's Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, she's at the house. Here we go, then. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. I'm not even going around this. I'm going straight over it. House has fallen into a level of disrepute. What you want? Found something out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. 
For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Oh, dear. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle? Of yeah, I'm, I'm getting that as well, Baldy. Pay the man. You've made twenty dollars. I swear to God, if it says twenty, I'm going to kick off. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders, old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. It's going to kick off there as well. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Where's my cup? I wanted more, but not that considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That... Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood view. We'll need something. I ain't playing this. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Oh, say it, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. And be an idiot. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. What about you? Oh, you can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor man is hot. Uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? That way it must have cost you a pretty penny or two. Shit. Stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just okay. a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Brother Fenton, don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. 
One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Go behind the bar in the saloon. Not enough bars of these type of doors. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Milton. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have more business. Um Bounty. It's a sin to look at gift horse What I see a gift horse my own Okay, hang on. Be some proper fighting in here in a minute. Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? Open bar, gentlemen. Let's have some fun here. Better fighting. Wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> the hole that went out for milk. I'll have one, Ben. That old chestnut. I only went in for a quick one. Gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn lick! An honest mistake! Boy. Oh no! Oh, oh my god, no! Shit! You think we want to find you? You'll be nothing but dust! The face! One up there. Upstairs, hurry! I will do, I didn't know you were up there. Shit, 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 shit. Are we jumping out the window? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need something. I've got... No, 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 no. Um... Oh, 
Let them come. Yep. Oh, he seems like he went up in the uh, up in the air on the horse. Take up a career. What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. To be fair to everyone, these lot come looking for it, don't they? They're not innocent. We come in, we land, we land in your land, we're stealing your stuff, we're getting involved in fights, but then they're like, oh, this place is odd. Not surprised, they won't kill you. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. So, are these not responsible for Dutch's dad dying? I ain't in the revenge business. Uh huh. So those are the two other missions. Let me just see on the progress how we're doing. 
31%, not quite as badly as I thought we were doing. But is this one of those games where completion is actually 70% and then the other 30% is side missions? Evening. Evening. Um... We really needed this. Good job, Mr. Evening, Mr. Morgan. Evening. Now, can I eat something? Morgan. Yeah. Mr. Pearson, quite a country. Quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world, far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. Oh dear. So we've got some games we can play, but we're not doing any of that. I'm going to go and have a sleep. Both in-game. And... Let's um let's change clothing. Outfits, what we got? Oh, so that's my outfit at the moment. I can kind of get it. Uh Brawler. Ruffian, the rebel, the pursuer. Yeah, let's have something fancy. Okay, you have no outfit suitable for cold weather on your horse. So I'll have that one and I'll steal that horse. Oh, I do have. Night night. I'm hoping.